California parents have pleaded guilty to federal charges stemming from the college admissions cheating scheme Marjorie Clapper, 50, of Menlo Park, California, Jane Buckingham, 50, of Beverly Hills, California, and Robert Flaxman, 62, of Laguna Beach, California, pleaded guilty Friday to one count each of conspiracy to commit mail fraud and honest services mail fraud for paying to cheat for their children's college entrance exams. The three parents pleaded guilty in federal court in Boston in front of U.S. District Court Judge Indira Talwani, who also said their sentencing hearings, authorities said in a media alert. Clapper will be sentenced on October 16, Flaxman on October 18 and Buckingham on October 23. During Friday's hearing, jewelry store owner Clapper admitted that she had agreed to pay $15,000 to Rick Singer, the admissions consultant at the center of the cheating scheme, to cheat on her son's ACT exam Singer supposedly told Clapper to seek out medical letters to allow her son 50% more time to take the ACT test to allow for the fraud to be perpetrated, resulting in her son scored 30 out of a possible 36. As part of her plea deal, her recommended sentence was one year of supervised release, a $20,000 fine, restitution and forfeiture. Flaxman, a real estate developer, admitted to paying Singer $75,000 to boost his daughter's entrance exam score. Share this article share it was previously reported that in April and September 2016, Flaxman's daughter had taken the act, receiving scores of 20 and 24 out of a possible 36. The day before taking the test a third time, Flaxman wired a payment of $75,000 to Key Worldwide Foundation, Singer's supposed charity, and his daughter scored a 28. Flaxman was also said to have paid $250,000 to facilitate his son's admission to the University of San Diego between May and June 2016 to facilitate his son's admission to the school as an athlete. Flaxman's suggested sentence was one year of supervised release, a fine of $40,000, restitution and forfeiture. Marketing executive Buckingham, meanwhile, acknowledged that she had agreed to pay Singer $50,000 to have someone take the act for her son. Authorities recommended a sentence of one year of supervised release, a fine of $40,000, restitution and forfeiture. In pleading guilty, the three parents sidestepped far harsher possible sentences. Their mail fraud charges could have been a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison, three years of supervised release and a fine of $250,000, or twice the gross gain or loss, whichever is greater. Singer, 58, of Newport Beach, California, pleaded guilty to all counts of racketeering conspiracy, money laundering conspiracy, conspiracy to defraud U.S. and obstruction of justice in March, and is scheduled to be sentenced on June 19. He owned and ran the for-profit Edge College and Career Network LLC College Counseling Service and established the non-profit charity, KWF, acting as its CEO. Thirteen parents have pleaded guilty so far in the college admission cheating case, including Desperate Housewives star Felicity Hoffman, 